everyone, Marlene here with Buffalo Jack Chicks. What's for supper? Tonight we're having homemade vegetable beef soup. So here I'm browning up about three pounds of stew beef. I have salted it and I have peppered it. And I did put some onion powder on it as well. Just a couple tablespoons of oil. So here it is lightly browned. You don't need to flour this because we're not making a stew. We don't want it to be thick like a stew. All right, so next I took about half a head of cabbage and I'm going to slice that up. Cabbage tastes wonderful in soup. So I'm going to add that along with two cans of diced tomatoes. Now you can use stewed tomatoes. I just used what I have on hand and today it's diced tomatoes. So I've added the cabbage and the tomatoes to my meat mixture and I'm going to give that a stir and I'm going to add about nine cups of water to this. Like I say, I'm making a big pot of soup. So here I've let it cook maybe for only about 10 minutes. And as you can see, the cabbage is already starting to cook and break down and release moisture into the soup. So I love this Bear Creek vegetable beef soup mix. I use it for seasoning. It's delicious. I only used one. Okay, so I poured it out so you can see what it looks like. It has barley and all kinds of seasonings and spices in it. And it really adds to the taste of the soup. If you can't find that, you can use beef broth. So here I've added that mixture and you can see the seasonings. And I'm going to let that cook. So I'm going to open up two cans of diced potatoes. Yes, I could cut up my own but I'm lazy today. <laughs> and I have two bags. I believe these are 12 ounces of frozen mixed vegetables. Do not add canned vegetables. They will not taste good. So I've added all of that to my soup and I'm going to put the lid on it and I'm just going to let it simmer for at least two to three hours and it sure is smelling delicious. Now at this time I'm also going to do a taste test to make sure that I have enough salt and pepper in it because I've just added all those vegetables to it. So if you're on a salt restricted diet I know there's salt substitutes that you could add. So just put the lid on it Watch that the water level stays up and just keep simmering it. And here is the final product. Bon Appetit. I hope you'll give this a try. It is yummy. Bye-bye.